In the newest version of Microsoft Office for Mac, Microsoft Office for Mac 2011, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Outlook, PowerPoint, and Word have all received major updates. Today we'll be focusing mainly on Microsoft Word for Mac. The first thing you'll notice is how quickly it opens. When it opens, you're greeted with the Word Document Gallery, which are many documents and styles of documents that you can choose from. You have all the way from a blank document to calendars, stationery, coordinated forms, resumes, proposals, labels, and more. In the bottom left-hand corner, you'll have a pane for your recent documents, which can be sorted by all of your recent documents, recent documents from today, yesterday, the past week, or the past month. This makes it much easier to find documents that you've been working on for a while. Let's open a blank Word document. When you first open the document, you'll notice it looks very similar to the newer Microsoft Word editions for Windows. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can select from Draft View, Outline View, Publishing Layout View, Print View, Notebook View, and the Full Screen View. The full screen view is one of the coolest things I've seen added to Word 2011. It allows everything else on your Mac to go away, and all you'll do is focus on that document. You'll have options for written modes or reading modes, to save, print, and you'll have all your normal editing options. Then over we'll have more options, and to go back to the main Word panel. The buttons at the top have all been redesigned to look much nicer. We have the new document, new from template, open a document, save a document, and print the document, the standard cut, copy, and paste buttons, the undo and redo buttons, paragraph, options to show and hide the side panel, show and hide the toolbox, insert media, change the document size, and the help button. The ever so popular ribbon that was in the Microsoft Word for Windows has come to the Mac. In the home tab, you'll have the font section, the paragraph section where you can change things like alignment and spacing, styles, which now has a drop down menu which is apparent throughout the whole word, which looks very nice. You can insert text box, shapes, pictures, and select a theme. In the layout tab, we can change the orientation, the size, the break, change the margins, change some text layout options, add a watermark, change the color, and add borders. In the Document Elements tab, we can add a cover page, a blank page, a page break. You get an option to add a table of contents, a header, a footer, page numbers, add citations, to look at some references, to add a text box, word art, or equations. You can choose from some preset equations, or you can add your own. You can just type it out, and if you need a symbol, there's a whole section for math symbols, and you can select the one you need. When you're done, you'll have a little text box for an equation. In the Tables tab, we'll have the option to make a graph. It's the same way to make a graph on the Windows Word, which is very welcome. You'll get the table options like table styles, and you'll get some more table options. You can also insert a chart, however, it opens the chart in Excel to make, which is kind of confusing, and Excel is kind of intimidating. But no matter what, when made, the charts look very nice. In the Smart Art category, there's many options for cool things that look like charts, but they're directly editable within Word. This can be very good for studying and things for school. There are also many color theming options for the Smart Art, and you can also resize it as you wish. In the Review category, we can make comments, which are very useful. I'll type, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy fool of tech, but we're not sure if that's the right saying. So we can mark that up and add a comment saying, may not be the right saying. Later, once we've found that that is the wrong saying and we've found the correct saying, we can go ahead and directly edit via that comment. We can change fool of tech to the lazy dog. If changes were made to the document, we have the power to accept, 
or reject the changes. We can share via IM or mail, and we can protect the document by locking it or giving the document permissions. Overall, this application brings many new and welcome features, and anyone using the older versions of Word for Mac definitely are recommended to upgrade. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.